Welcome back. Let's take a look at sports. It's Charles Aruka. Welcome to Sports News. Nigerian athletes will depart from Lagos on Monday, March the 13th for the 2017 Special Olympics World Winter Games in Austria. The 31-man delegation, which includes 22 athletes, will compete in two indoor sports, floorball and floor hockey. This year's edition, scheduled for March the 14th to the 25th, will be Nigeria's second appearance at the Winter Games after making their debut at Pyeongchang 2013 in South Korea. We are going not only to cash fund, but we are going to bring gold medal to Nigeria. We are going to prove, prove our country that Nigeria is better and great, great nation. Uh, uh, by the special grace of the world, we are going there due to all our experience in the camp. Uh, we, we believe that as we, are, as we are going to Australia, that we are going to bring a letter back to Nigeria. Well, um, the athletes have been in camp for the past three months, and floorball and floor hockey are actually new sports to the country. These are not sports that we participate in in Nigeria at all. Last year, we had our colleagues from South Africa come in and train the coaches and the athletes, just give us the basic skills, and of course, they left the videos and everything, and the athletes have been doing very well. You should watch them. It's actually amazing. Now to football, the Super Eagles of Nigeria have maintained their 7th position in Africa and 41st in the world in the latest FIFA ranking released today. Egypt moved three places up to become the continent's best playing nation. The Egyptians are closely trailed by Senegal and 2017 Afghan champions Cameroon, Burkina Faso, Tunisia, Congo DR, Ghana, Côte d'Ivoire and Morocco complete Africa's top 10. In the world, Argentina remained top ahead of Brazil and Germany, with the top ten remaining unchanged. Now to club football, Arsenal Wenger says fans' opinion will influence his decision on whether to remain in charge of Arsenal next season. A group of supporters protested before and after Tuesday's 5-1 Champions League home defeat by Bayern Munich, and Wenger has now admitted that he'll consider their thoughts, although he says it will not be the most important factor. Wenger has been in charge of Arsenal since October 1996. His contract expires in the summer. Of course, uh, you consider uh, everything. It will make it more likely that you... It will not be the most uh, important factor. But you consider, of course. Look, uh, I, I don't work for my image. I work for this club and uh, with full commitment. And uh, that's what I do. After uh, how will I be judged uh, in one way or the other? It's not too much uh, my problem. Well, from association football to American football, or rather we stay with soccer here. Bayern Munich midfielder Xabi Alonso has announced that he'll retire from professional football at the end of the season. The 35-year-old confirmed the news, which had been rumored for the last two months on social media on Thursday morning. Alonso came through the ranks at Real Sociedad before joining Liverpool in 2004, winning the Champions League, an FA Cup, a UEFA Super Cup and a Community Shield. He left Anfield for Real Madrid in 2009 where he won a second Champions League title as well as the La Liga Championship before moving to Bayern in 2014. And that's the final whistle on sports news. Andy Juma will be back in a moment with the news at 10. Thanks, Charles. Police in South Africa say they've recovered two bogus police vehicles in a town near Pretoria. The country's acting National Police Commissioner spoke to the media about it today, giving details of what has been recovered so far, as well as investigations yet to be done. Our South Africa Bureau Chief Betty Divya reports. Or Tambo International Airport Heist has sparked speculation since Tuesday night with various conspiracy theories. But the nation's top cop gave an official picture. This was a security breach and uh, it will be dealt with accordingly. Uh, the perpetrators uh, of the crime committed there at the airport, at the airport will uh, certainly be done to be good. Although initial speculation pointed to a South African police service vehicle having been used to commit the crime, a vehicle which was found abandoned in Mamelodi 
prove to be one we think police monkeys. Insider involvement has not been ruled out here, but this is not a first in security breaches at the airport. It's reported that six such similar incidents have happened in the past year. What we have tried to emphasize to our cargo operators is that it cannot solely be the responsibility of AXA and the police to provide security. Yes, we do. We do provide a certain level of, of security, but we equally encourage the cargo operators to have their own adequate security. Those people who came with those bogus police vehicles were armed, and they came there uh, with one thing in mind, uh, to lay their hands on whatever they wanted to take. So even if... Uh, uh, these uh, uh, security guys were armed, uh, they would have been overpowered in, in that situation. General Pahlane has asked the public to come forward with much needed information in the ongoing investigations. The authorities say security has been beefed up at the OR Tambo International Airport, which is one of South Africa's busiest, processing more than 20 million passengers in a year. From Johannesburg, South Africa, Betsy Dibia, Channels Television News. Madagascar is facing a major weather crisis as five people have been killed since Cyclone Anawa made landfall on Tuesday. Emergency services have been warning of threat of flooding, including in the capital Antananarivo, though the storm has died down. The weatherman there says rains have weakened to a drizzle, but there are still strong winds. Parts of the capital have also been evacuated and aid agencies are providing shelter and other basic needs to those affected. The city's government schools have been closed as a precaution and the Prime Minister told employers to allow workers stay at home. And the main news again. President Mohamed Buhari is expected back in the country tomorrow after a 49-day vacation in the UK. Before his departure earlier today, the president met with the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby, in London. Also today, an Abuja High Court sentenced two police officers, Ezekiel Acheneje and Emmanuel Baba, to death for killing two of six Igbo traders in Apo Abuja in June 2005. And Cyclone Inawa continued to hammer Madagascar today, with five people killed since the storm made landfall on Tuesday. That's the news at 10 tonight. Thanks a lot for staying with us. I'm Ijoma Bunyato. Do have a good night.